things have been happening to me that I didn't even know were meant to happen. Yeah, this is like an example of when painting actually does not calm me down and it actually just like really stresses me out. <laughs> It's almost like what I would imagine like pregnancy cravings to be. Very emotional video. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. All right guys, we're doing it again. I have one canvas and I am not prepared to wait or leave and go and pick anything else up. I also don't really wanna buy a canvas right now because they are so expensive. If anyone has any tips on getting like cheaper canvases, please let me know because I don't even know how you're meant to like sustain that. Anyway, we have a huge canvas. <laughs> This is, this is a 60 by 72 incher. It's gonna be big, but whatever, you know, that's okay. I'm gonna draw with pencil. I'm gonna do an outline with the pencil now. And today is Monday, I have school at 7 p.m. again, so weird. It is 1.30, so I have to leave the house at like five. So we have like a little bit of time to sort of get it going and get it to somewhere where it seems to have be gone as opposed to just a blank canvas, which is always so scary. And yeah, so I'm gonna sketch. Okay, so I decided to take a really quick selfie just for like an outline, so there she is, looking grumpy. So I'm just gonna work from that because I don't think I can like do it face from my memory. So.
like she's like in a place where I'm happy to stop painting. I have like two hours until I have to go to school. And I don't normally even like paint, I mean draw this much detail before I paint. So this is pretty, oh, this is a pretty good uh, outline of what's gonna happen. And yeah, I think the one thing I have to do is like lift the left eye higher because it looks like it's like drooping down. And obviously I change the, the reason I don't spend so much time on drawing is because ultimately when I start painting, it's gonna change everything. The lines are gonna change, the placement's gonna change, like everything's gonna change because like as I go along, I'm gonna be like, oh, I want this to look like this, or I want this to be bigger, I want this to be smaller, I want this to be, you know, not as proportionally correct or whatever. So I think I'm gonna maybe start painting now. Wait, how much time do I actually have? Okay, it's 2.36 and I have to leave at 5 p.m. So yeah, I have enough time to stop. Okay. Yeah, I'm just looking for someone to blame. Shiny, check. Greasy, check. Tired, check. Okay, I uh, I went to go get some food and then I came back and now I have to leave. So I annoyingly did not get to start any painting, but I mean, I have like 20 minutes, but that 20 minutes is gonna fly by and I don't wanna like get into painting and then I have to leave, super annoying. And then tomorrow I have class all day, so I can't really do it tomorrow, but I'm hoping for a better week of school than last week. Cause last week I like did not, it just wasn't really, I wasn't really, you know, getting it, but Hopefully this week is good. So I have to actually go to school, yeah, right now. Because my class is at 7 p.m. and I have a presentation to do on Karl Marx, which is gonna be fun. And hopefully I've prepared enough for that, but I guess you never know. And then, yeah, I don't know what time I finish school tomorrow, but I kind of feel like I'm not gonna be able to paint. Then Wednesday, Wednesday I might just have one class, so maybe I can, but I'm gonna get ready to go. <laughs> okay, just got home from school, it's 5 p.m. So the sun is dwindling, but let's get some paint on the canvas. At 6.30, make the kids lunches and uh, the kids lunches and make breakfast. By the way, I'm on day five or six off my Lexapro, so I am feeling a little weird. So if I start like jumping around and stuff, that's like because I start feeling like weird feelings in my fingers and my legs, and I like had to shake it out, you know? Which has been hard lately, they didn't know. is literally fresh paintbrushes. lighter than when I put it on the canvas. And I need to remember that because this happens every time. 
I think that I have too much white in the paint, so I add more color. And then I put it on the canvas and then I'm kind of like, hmm, it is quite dark. So I'm debating whether I should just add more white now or if I should just keep the base color darker and then we can just go in with like white later. The only reason I don't like doing that is because obviously the color paint is like more expensive and less available as in like I don't have as much of it here as I do like white paint. So like that's kind of like the only reason I don't like starting with dark is because I just don't want to waste paint. But uh, it's already on there so I'm just gonna like continue I think and then just add like uh, more white later.
the absolute worst self-image day ever like mm -mm. everything is wrong everyone is wrong i look wrong i feel wrong and everything is bad <laughs> and the last thing i want to do right now is paint i literally just want to sit in bed and watch tv but even like tv i can't watch because then i'm like comparing myself to everyone on the telly and on youtube and on everything and like i'm freaking out it is day six of no Lex pro so i am having some withdrawals you may say yeah it's crazy it's crazy i feel insane so uh, yeah some people might be wondering like why i'm coming off of the lexapro if it's like oh you felt better on them but i'll like talk about that another time i really can't talk about that right now so yeah the last thing i want to do is paint which probably means that the first thing i should do is paint because i think that i don't i don't want to just do what my brain is telling me to do because my brain is all fucked up today so i'm gonna paint i'm not gonna try anything on because i think that seems like a recipe for absolute disaster as it sounds right now but i got a package from thread up and i i ordered some dresses mostly because i have a show opening on october 3rd it's like a a production company basically put some of my paintings up in the like corporate lobby kind of thing so i have that opening on october 3rd and so i ordered some dresses from thread up and they were having such a good deal so I did order a bunch, but I'm gonna just show you them. I'm like not gonna try anything on. I think that if I try anything on right now, I'm gonna ball. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. I mean, I look, I literally, I don't even get me started. Okay, and I also like really don't wanna get paint on anything. So, okay, first I got a very cottagey, cute, flowy dress from a company called Dream Village, which I've never heard of before. Anyway, here she is super cute very loose and light and see-through-y but also cool and just you know cute vibes and it's got these like frillies and it's this like pattern anyway it's the first one then i got this super cute black cocktail dress from betsy and Ander betsy and adam by linda burnell and it looks like a cute basic like little cocktail dress which I need anyway, but on closer inspection, it has this like cute feathery frilly kind of bottom and it has this cute little bow there. And I just like how it's not cinched in on the middle, but it's kind of like straight and then it has that detailing on the bottom. So this is so cute. <gasps> then I got this Betsy Johnson dress, which is a few sizes bigger than what I would normally wear. But honestly, the shape, I'm kind of, into the fact that it's going to be loose and it's got this kind of low back and short little sleeves and then on the bottom it also has this like layered tall kind of ballerina -y vibe which i love and yeah just like a little classy moment if i ever need to be classy for some reason okay then i got this mini <laughs> and when i say oh, when i fucking can't speak. okay and when i say mini i mean mini this is from a company called Polly, which I know, but it's this mini little ruffled dress and it looks so tiny, but I think that if I wear just like some little biker shorts underneath, just so I'm not flashing people, it would be cute. And then some like knee high boots, very cute. I've noticed I'm like going for like these like layered kind of looks recently. Then another layered dress is this dress from this company called Parker and it's this super silky long pink once again layered dress and i think this would be so cute if you sort of like made it a little more rock and roll so you wore like boots or like big black heels 
and then like chains and like maybe some like super dark eye makeup i think this would look really cool like that okay and then the last thing i got which is i think the one that i'm gonna wear to the show is this c by chloe dress and it's such a cute color it's a super cute green color and it's very see-through and it has this cute little bow and it's kind of like goes like that over the top and again it has these like little frilly bottoms obviously i'm like really into this frilly bottom look and this is a few sizes bigger than i would wear but honestly because it's see-through i think that is fine so yeah i think i'm gonna wear this one to the show probably with like pink tights and like white boots or something but yeah anyway that's what i got okay sorry that was super random but i just wanted to show you and also also i i can't speak i'm gonna talk stop talking i'm just gonna paint okay i'm just gonna paint i can't talk okay bye When I feel like this, everything I do, I hate because I hate everything about me. So I um, don't think I should paint today because it's a waste of time. I'm working real slow and then every single little bit of paint I put on the canvas, I despise and I want to burn it. So I think I'm gonna just not because I just have to know, um, yeah. I just, I don't, you know, I'm not having a good day, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's just not the day. I tried to fight it, but I think that I just have to accept that this day was not the best and not try and like, you know, push it. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to like lie down and um maybe take a bath and just try not to think too much so i'll see you tomorrow i think i'll see you tomorrow when it will be a better day hi it's a few days later um oh ignore this weird little piece of hair that's coming out the side of my head i don't know what this is from hi yeah it's a few days later as i had previously i had as i had previously mentioned a few days ago i have been coming off of my anti-anxiety medication anti you know depression medication and it has been a ride. Um, things have been happening to me that I didn't even know were meant to happen and I wasn't expecting anything on this plane. So yeah, I have been in the thick of it for sure. I was unaware that the withdrawals of anti, well, I'm on Lexapro, which I think people take for depression and anxiety. I, I particularly, I took it particularly for anxiety, but I had like bouts of, depression here and there which I'm like noticing much more now that I'm off of it <laughs> but what I didn't know is that the withdrawals from Lexapro literally give you like the flu and it's not actually the flu you're not actually sick or contagious but it's horrible like you're hot you're sweaty you feel nauseous your head hurts like you're you just feel sick you're like starving but then you don't want to eat anything it's crazy it's just 
so unpleasant and then on top of that all of your emotions are going insane like you're happy you're sad i don't know if you ever have this but it's like do you ever have those days where you sit by your laptop to do some work and you're like no i don't want to do this work right now so then you're like okay i'm gonna go outside for a walk and then you like put your trainers on to go for a walk and then you're like no i don't want to go for a walk and then you like go somewhere else and do something and you're like oh i don't want to do this and you keep like moving around like insane like that that's kind of how you feel as well as like self self-loathing more than i've ever had literally like I know the last time I spoke to you guys, I was like, wow, I'm having a really bad self-image day, but maybe tomorrow will be better. Yeah, no, that um, lasted and got so much worse. I hated myself. I hated how I looked. I hated how I felt. I was angry that I was taking these medications. Oh God, it's been, it's been a journey. Uh, it's been a journey. So I have been unable to do anything. The idea of like working, my motivation is completely gone. It's crazy. If you guys want, and I think it will anyway, but I'm gonna probably do a video just talking about this and like the things that I've been doing to kind of make myself feel better because this is no joke. And like, I know a lot of people are on them and I posted a lot of stuff on my Instagram saying like, oh, like, can anyone share their experience with this and that and this? And like, I had so many people responding to me. So I know a lot of people take these medications and have been on them. So anyway, I'll probably do a video talking about that. Maybe the next video I do. I just want to be a little further out from where I am right now before I start like talking about anything as if I know anything. So anyway, I'm feeling a little better today. It's Monday. I have school in the evening, but I really want to get on with the painting. I know when I leave it too long, that is when things go awry and I just like stop completely so we're at where we left off last time hopefully the paint is not too dry I'm sure it will be it's been about four or five days since I was here so yeah let's let's see what we can do anyway yeah <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I put blue in the hair because I thought I wanted the hair to be blue. Then I regretted my decision, so I decided I actually wanted it to be yellow. So I tried to wipe the paint off with some towel and tissue and stuff, and then I attempted to paint the yellow on top because I am now starting to get that impatient feeling inside of me where I just like really want to like get the painting done, <laughs> which is never like a good way to be painting. And so anyway, I'm like painting the yellow on top of the blue. And of course, like it's all mixing together and the yellow now is becoming green and like I can't, you know, fix it. And I'm like trying to wipe off the blue as much and I'm trying to put more yellow on and it's just not working and everything's mixing together and I'm like starting to get really overwhelmed and stressed. So I'm gonna just leave it and then either come back later tonight or tomorrow. Probably not tonight actually because I have a 7 p.m. class and I have a meeting with my mentor at three. So I kind of have to actually kind of leave pretty soon anyway. So yeah, this is like an example of when painting actually does not calm me down and it actually just like really stresses me out. But it did, it was, it was very calming in the beginning and then like, and now I've like gotten to a point where I'm like upset by everything I do and it's like making me really angry. <laughs> so I do like my decision about the yellow hair, I think. And I'm like second guessing everything I'm doing. So I'm, this seems like a really good time to just like walk away for a second, let it go, take a breather, do something else. I am trying to be really patient with my emotions at the moment and you know, sometimes I'll try and like push past however I'm feeling and try and get to the other side of it. But like right now, I think that if I feel like I don't wanna do something, I'm just like gonna try not to do it. Unless it's something that I know is gonna be super beneficial. Like if I, you know, feel like I should go for a walk, but I don't want to, like I'll probably go for a walk or if I need to go to like an AA meeting, but I really don't want to, I'm probably just gonna go and do that. But I think things like this, where I can feel that it's, I can feel I'm doing it and the process of it is like, is like building up tension inside my body. That's when I know it's like actually not helping. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna maybe shower and get ready to go to class. Well, get ready for my meeting with my mentor, which is at three and then my class is at seven, which is kind of annoying. Cause I'm gonna be at school super early, but it's fine. And I think I need to eat something. Since coming off of the medication, my um, appetite has been super weird. It's been like so specific. It's almost like what I would imagine like pregnancy cravings to be, where it's like my body wants one thing and one thing only. And like, I don't wanna eat anything else except for that thing. So like for the first few days, it was like apples and like fruit and fresh stuff. And then for the next few days, it's been like French fries and like super salty, like carbs and things. I don't really know how I'm feeling today, but I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat something. I ate some like carrots but that was just not sufficient so I'm gonna go. Yeah carrots and dip so I'm gonna eat something else now I think. Hello it's been about uh, hmm it's been about a week and a half which actually doesn't sound that bad and I feel like I'm making that seem so much worse than it is but it's been about a week and a half since I've been here. I have been having let's just say like the worst mental health about I've had in a while and I'm definitely still going through it. I feel like I'm actually maybe like in the thick of it right now. And so I like haven't been painting, I haven't been doing anything. I've been very <sighs> unproductive and like not wanting to do anything, very like whatever. So um, I was having a really bad day today and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like get in the studio and do like anything that I can because I think that bringing back like normalcy into my routine is gonna help me recover because right now I've like just stopped everything that I've been doing and um you know I'm like giving myself a break but I think at the same time it's kind of hindering things because I'm, I'm kind of like my whole life now seems different so I'm just trying to put some normalcy back into my life uh, so I'm gonna do some painting so let's continue <laughs> my brain is very loud today so I'm gonna put some music on <laughs>
done. I don't like the eyes, so I need to fix those. And then I'm debating whether I want like a shadow behind her, sort of like an outline in a dark pink. So yeah, and then I think we're done. I don't know. I don't like to say that because I always say that and then it's not true. sometimes like there's a chance I might go in and change something once I've spent like a couple months with it you know I might want to add something or take something away or whatever but that tends like not to happen but I just like to say that just in case like people will like see it later and it's different and they're confused <laughs> they even would but yeah just wanted to show you what what we came up with in the end <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and if you there's a mosquito on her. <gasps> oh gross. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like anything that I'm doing, then please uh, subscribe. It's super helpful to me and you can just get informed every time that I post something or yeah and if you really like anything that I'm doing then feel free to share it with other people that would be awesome too and yeah thanks uh, for staying with me during this really really long very emotional video and I will see you next time love you bye